Okay, so apparently we're not supposed to do the passcode just yet. We're supposed to go to that like other section. Remember how we entered a new zone and I was like, nah, this isn't right. So we went back to the second zone and then activated the elevator. Yeah, we're supposed to go back to the third zone um, next. We're not actually supposed to worry about the passcode yet. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna head right on back. We're gonna go take care of this shit, see where that leads us and so on and so forth. So let us, let us go then. We need to take this over to uh, Factoria Station 7. Cool. Yeah, I haven't played Factoria myself because I don't personally care for those types of games, but I've heard it's good if you do enjoy those types of games. A lot of micromanaging and just kind of watching shit play itself. You know, it's like a mobile game almost. You only have to pop in every other day to like pick up the, the gold and the gems and stuff to complete quest lines and shit like that. It's a very casual game, so. At least that's my understanding of it. Couldn't really tell you. Couldn't really tell you. So let's go see where this thing will lead us. And uh, yeah. Glad we got Chloe as kitted out as we can make her though. I wish I had enough Sepith to level up those other two slots, but what are you gonna do? I think she's definitely in a better spot than she was uh, when, we, when we first picked her up, so. At least that's my opinion. So we need to go, is it this way? Maybe. Maybe. Well, this leads us out of the zone. And then I think we need to go. Uh, let's, oh God, oh lag. No, please stop. Wait, this is different. This is way different. Oh, shit. No, I think that was right. Yeah, this is right. Oh shit, it's the glorious. Um. Okay. I guess we find the password on there. Man, never thought we'd end up in a place like this. What do you figure they'll make us do now? No clue. With the professor and the enforcers all heading out together, though, no doubt there's much left for us. Probably just capturing intruders like those bandits, you think? Yeah, that librarian ship crashed down here too, didn't it? Don't we need to deal with them? We got orders on that. Professor says to ignore them until he and the others get back. Not like they can do much until their ship is fixed. Oh shit. Ugh. So this is where the Glorious docked. Just as Siege said, it was on the eastern side of the city. Still, it's enormous. You heard the guards though, this might be our chance. Yes, this, all the major society members are absent. This is the best shot we have at saving the Kapuas. We should break in. Wait a sec. I'm all for going in, but shouldn't we tell Josette? We are going to rescue her brothers. Estelle. Uh, don't misunderstand, okay? It's just, you know, a responsible brace thing to do, yeah. Ah, that's very Estelle. In that case, let's get back to the aerosol. Uh, yeah. Let's head back to the hollow rail station then. Good point. Seriously? Ugh. Fuck me. Also, this game seems to be having a lot of frames that are just kind of freaking out. Hopefully that's not too big of a deal on your guys' end. It's just mildly annoying on my end, so. Yep, I think it's just a straight shot back to where we were, yeah? Pretty sure it's just like a straight shot. Wow, that monster just completely ignored us, which I'm super okay with. Oh no, it's uh, that's the, that's that bit. I may run into this dude's butt. I mean, we we should probably get some fucking levels in, huh? I mean, if we're about to go on the glorious, I don't I don't believe that everybody's absent, you know. It does make sense though that that is where I would find the password I need. Uh. So. Nice. We're finally getting you up to speed. Fuck you. You finish this one off. Have you finish that one off. You're delivering quite the punch nowadays, the gate. It's, it is quite good. That Lion King sword is excellent. There we go. Dum -bum -bum. So we need to go this way then, eh? Yep, cool. So we'll head on back and we'll let her know that we're going to get her brothers. She's probably gonna say something stupid like, I wanna come! And I think for story purposes, we might let her. I don't know. I'll make the decision when, like, it's presented to me. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, yep. 
Nothing like taking this fucking rail to go all the way back to where we just were because of story things, but whatever. I don't know. I don't know. This area's got a lot of backtracking and a lot of video game shit. So, very reminiscent of games from this time period. But we hadn't really experienced it a whole heck of a lot in this game up until like the end, you know? It was basically a linear shot throughout most of the game up until this point. This has a lot of back and forth thing, which makes a bit more sense because we're on like an isolated city, you know? So, I'm not saying it's, I'm, I'm not complaining. Like, I'm not, compl I'm, <sighs> God damn it. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it's a thing that I'm noticing, you know? If it goes on for much longer though, all these things like, oh, I can't progress until I go back and get the information that I go back. Like, if that if that happens much more, I'm gonna start kind of being a little annoyed about it, but I'm not even attempting to figure this shit out on my own. I just have the wiki like up next to me. Um, and I'm just looking at that. So, you know, if I was actually trying to figure shit out, I'd probably be a bit more annoyed, but. Hi Joshua, what's wrong? You look like you want to say something. Yeah, we came to tell you. Wait, did you? Yeah, so... Estelle and Joshua told Josette about how they found the glories in the Factoria district. For real? Let's go right now then. Kyle and Don have to be there. Um... At what level is she? 72? Chloe's now at 75. Uh, what is... What should she... Convenient crafts with special effects best in the back. Well, we'll give her a, uh, I don't really, nah, we'll, we'll give her a chance. We'll give her, we'll give her a shot. Cause here's my thinking. I'm hoping that it'll give me another opportunity to swap people out. Um, kinda closer to what I presume will be the final boss. Um, which I know we're approaching because this whole section is called, um, finale. So, just saying. I'm gonna save the game here real quick now I'm thinking about it, so. The fact that it tells me this is the finale means that we're definitely in the last section of the game. In case that wasn't obvious because of the shit that's gone down or, or anything like that. I'm just hoping I'm not gonna be tied to this person um, for the rest of the game, I don't know. I'm still waiting on death, basically. You know, like, 100 and plus episodes in, not one character of note has died, not one. Give me emotional weight to the story. S kill someone. I know one of you told me that someone will die before the end of the game. I'm just trying to figure out who. Like, there's only two consistent party members at this point, Estelle and Joshua. And since they're the main characters, I would find it hard to believe that either of them would die. Which would mean that, like, somebody else in the party might die, but that doesn't make a lot of sense. Because unless it's like always like the third member of the party dies, you know, because you rotate it and it changes, you know, that's not constant. So then it must be like somebody else that's gonna like show up out of nowhere, like Cassius or something like that. Like just being there and like, I came to give you kids back and blah, and then he dies, you know, I don't know. Someone needs to die. I, I will not be, oh, fuck you. I will not be okay with this story if it just glides to the end with not one character of note kicking the bucket. So, I'm just saying, you know? I'm not saying your story needs to have death in it in order to be good. I'm just saying that if this particular story ends without a single person kicking the bucket, I feel like that's a missed opportunity, so. This just looks like a nothing thing, so we'll just head back over here to the land of lag. And we'll skip over here and see if there's anything over here. Nope, all right. No chests or anything like that. That's a bit of a bummer, but I'll be all right with it. Once we go in, we won't be able to disengage until we rescue the Kapuas. Are you sure we're ready to break into the Glorious? Go for it! Okay, let's go. Kapua, make sure you keep up, okay? That's my line, airhead. Pew, 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 oh shit. Whoa, enemy attack! Hey, it's the braces. Wasn't your ship down for repair? How'd you get here? They're called legs. You might've heard of them. Give me back my brothers. Now I'm glad I brought her now. Oh shit. Well, first thing we're gonna do is see what this does. I know it's not full. Oh, you don't have a fucking, she doesn't have a CP attack. Oh God. Oh, you're useless, aren't you? 
You fucking bitch. God damn it, she doesn't have a CP attack. Ah, oh, this is gonna be rough. Alright, well. We'll just do our best. Bum, 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 bum. Ouch. Okay. Alright, Josette. Show me what you can do. Meh. Not the most impressive of hits, but I'll take it. You know? Not like I can really complain about it now. I'm kind of stuck with her. So. For a little while. Oof. Let's just quickly hope this does some stuff. I don't have a dedicated healer anymore. Josette was a terrible idea. Unless she has, like, healing abilities, this was a terrible move. I'm tempted to reload and grab Chloe or even Tina. I don't know. I think I'm not, like, if it becomes too much more of a, if it becomes a, a, a struggle, then I'll, I'll go back and swap uh, her out for somebody who's more effective, but we'll stick with her for now. So, one group down. All right, we break into the ship here. Josette, stay close. All right. Dun 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 dun. Ba ba dun. Ba ba dun. Bum bum bum. Okay. We're on the glorious. This is the interior of the glorious. Friggin', what does a ship need an interior like this for? It's really, uh, really is kind of stupidly huge, isn't it? And Ouroboros probably has combat organisms all over the place. Dot dot dot. You guys escaped from the ship before, right? Any ideas where Kyle and Don might be? Actually, maybe. There's that room where I was kept locked up in. Sort of a weird prison, though. That's because it was technically a guest room. I bet the Kapoos are being kept in the brig. The brig? So they do have an actual prison. I don't remember seeing where it was before we escaped. That an electromagnetic barrier is raised to try to stop us our escape, remember? It prevented us from going everywhere on the ship. The barriers aren't up at the moment. It's probably the best chance we have at saving Dong and the others. So you do know where the cells are. As I remember, there's a small staircase to the lower decks down this passage. The brig should be down there. Staircase to the brig. Let's check it out. Well, not just yet. You can't prevent, like, present me the ability to explore. Oh, okay. Damn it. All right, well. I wouldn't be doing my duty if I didn't check this place out, you know? Also, kind of get an idea of the enemies we're going to be going up against. Looks like more of the same as what we saw before when we were here last, so... Not too concerned about him. There you go. All right. Hmm. I think I think Estelle has some healing magic, but I don't think she has a lot of it. So I think we might have to have her pull out some shit like that in a bit. What do you got? So you don't you don't have a lot. Oh, Josette. Gonna trade you out as soon as I can. You don't really bring a lot to the table there. I'm basically saying this was a mistake. For story purposes, I like it, but beyond that, having her a part of the team is not a smart move on my part. What are your fucking things? Petrosphere binds foe's legs with the power of the earth. Phantom pain. Projects a mirage to weaken foes' will to fight. Okay, that's kind of neat. Stone hammer, earth lance, uh, titanic roar, localized powerful earthquake. Okay, so you've, you've got some shit. You've got some shit. What are your crafts? Combine gunfire to, um, combination gunfire to the enemy's vitals. Okay. An anchor flail. Throws out a metal anchor. Yar! Faint. Interesting. All right, well. Take that! I mean, I'm stuck with her, so we'll use her. You can kill him. Yeah, good job. Proud of you. Bum, bum, bum. So, not this way then, huh? Nope, all right. Then I guess we have to go this way. I'm just hoping we can get some cool loot and stuff. Like, as we advance, you know? Because I know this place is probably full of shit like that. The choice. Kill them all and keep grinding up the levels or 
just try to bum rush and get the Kapuas out. I don't know. I don't really know what the best move here is. I mean, they're not super uber difficult, but I am taking a considerable beating with a lack of, like, AOE heals. I do have dedicated heals, though, so I think I might have to start activating some of those if this shit goes on for much longer, you know? Uh, oh, excuse me. So let's have you finish off uh, one of them. That one. There you go. Yeah, we're getting, getting into the danger zone. So time to heal you up with that. I'll have you go after the red one. There we go. And then Josh will finish him off here in a sec. As I begin to spot heal people. Next up on the heal list is a gate. He definitely needs a buffing in the health department, so I will I will do that for the gate next. And then after that will be Joshua and Josette's fine. There we go. Okay. Shoot him in the back, Josette. Good job. You're doing no damage, but you know what? I'm, I'm all right with it. Nice. And then we'll heal Josh if we can. Don't think he'll get a heal in because Josh just killed it. So we'll get him next time. We'll get him in the next fight. Cool. All right. I'm also looking for loot. Loot is a is a big uh, thing on my. Oh wait. Oh, we may have already gotten all of the loot. We may have already gotten all of the loot. Because I've already been here, haven't I? We potentially, yeah. Yeah. We may, um... There may be nothing for us to collect, is what I'm trying to say. From our previous escape, we may have gotten everything worthwhile from this place already, so... Let's try to get uh, Josh healed uh, before the fight's over. So... We'll see what happens. God, you do a lot of damage, man. I'm so proud of you. Keep with it. There you go. Preparing to use the arts. Shoot. All right, Josh is gonna get healed, but he's also gonna hit, get hit with probably dark matter, would be my guess. At least he's back up to full. Although since Estelle's like one of my heavier hitters, having him or having her kind of relegated to heal duty is kind of not ideal, but um, we'll, we we do what we have to, you know. So I won't complain. I'm just pointing out that it's making things slightly difficult. So I can't believe Josette doesn't have a fucking um like CP super move. That's insane. Finish him off. There we go. Good job. Good stinking job. All right. Keep pressing forward then. Try to get those fucking Kapuas out of here, you know? There we go, staircase down. Over here. Right past the big guy. Not a problem. Into here. Down we go. He's a small staircase. That was clearly an elevator. So the fact that this is here has me concerned. It's not, you know, they don't just throw those down willy-nilly. Those are usually in front of something. So, save the game. I think we kind of want to straight shoot to the back. So just keep pressing forward, I guess. Around him. Keep pressing forward. Full health. Full level one CP for pretty much everybody. Wait, is this not where I'm supposed to go? Seriously? Is this, is this not where I'm supposed to be? 
And then where do I go? I don't see like any side splits or anything like that. No. No. 